Hey there, Jill here. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my home and share with you all the places I have my emergency injection kits and everything I have in place to make sure that I am prepared if I ever have an adrenal crisis. So let's get started. All right, we are starting our tour outside with my Jeep Penny. Now Penny also has on her windshield the Pickle Jar podcast. She also has a Pickle Jar license plate. She has some salty stickers and she also has a sticker to alert someone that I have a medical condition, that I have adrenal insufficiency. Now inside Penny, I also have a bag complete um, with all kinds of supplies, emergency kits in case I have to go to the hospital. Um, and also in her console, there is an emergency kit also so that it's close by to me. So welcome, welcome friends to my home. Now on my front window, I also have a sticker so that if EMS or anyone comes, um, just an added thing to alert people that I have a medical condition and that it actually says, just like on my Jeep, um, that I have adrenal insufficiency. Okay, so, and it is, this is going to be Thanksgiving weekend here, coming up in, in, uh, in Canada. So here's my little display I'm so proud of. I absolutely love it. Now, when you have adrenal insufficiency, we spend a lot of time in our homes, at least I do. Um, it's my safe place, but it's also the place sometimes I feel very isolated um, and it can be very frustrating watching life um, kind of, you know, from the front window. Um, but let me show you the happiest thing that I have to come home to. She's gonna be right here. Here she is, this is Brenna. She's my old English sheepdog. I absolutely love her. So she's gonna be part of our tour guide. So let me show you in my garage. I also have an emergency kit here. Cause you never know when something might happen. I also have a key. This key is here. So if I'm ever, if I have to call 911 and I can't get to the door and it's locked, I can give them the code to my garage and they'll be able to open up the garage. I can instruct them to find the key and they'll be able to get in to help me. So I also have in my hall closet here. So here are all my emergency supplies, more kits, my pump supplies, everything is here for me. And then we are gonna come around to my kitchen. So here is my kitchen. Now in my kitchen, on my fridge, I have some magnets. Again, more medical information right there. And then I'm going to show you, these are my lovely children. And then I also have, so this is my cupboard where I keep all my supplements, keep my routine so I can do everything I need to do to keep my body healthy and strong. I also have instructions taped inside the cupboard for a medical, for medical information. So you never know if I'm in a, ever in a medical situation, um, you know, who's looking where. So I wanna have as much information as I can everywhere I can. Now let's go, actually I wanted to show you. So this, this is my kitchen island. We're usually about 3 p.m. I'm leaning on because I don't have the strength to stand anymore. And same over here, the kids know when mom's leaning on the counters and she can't stand upright anymore, that her body's getting weak and that she's not feeling well. Now these are the stairs. When I had my second adrenal crisis, I couldn't climb. I would have to climb these stairs and sit at the top. This is the railing that usually by about three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm gripping hard and using it as support <laughs> to climb these stairs. Okay, so now I'm going to actually take you into my bedroom. So this is, this is my little sanctuary. So this is my bed. This is my wall that one of my cortisol is really low that I can stare at for about three hours just with that emptiness, lifelessness in me. Okay, while I kind of recover. Um, now this is my bed stand. Um, so in here I actually have, I call it my bedside pharmacy. I have all kinds of things in here. Um, my blood pressure, um, oral medication. I have an emergency injection kit. I have all kinds of things so that if I'm not well in the night, I can take them. Okay, um, I can get help, I can get what I need, and I don't have to get out of bed and do it, <laughs> which is absolutely wonderful. Now, I also have, so I'm gonna show you my bathroom. So this is where I start my day. Um, when I start my day, I come in my bathroom, 
and I check my face in the mirror to see, you know, if there's any swelling. Um, if I look like I'm retaining water, I check the color of my skin. I look for rashes. I then proceed to weigh myself. I weigh myself to make sure that my weight stays stable. It stays healthy. Um, and it's also another indication if I'm retaining water. Um, and then I want to make sure my steroids don't get too high because if my steroids are too high, I'm going to start to puff up a little bit and, um, it helps me keep a tabs on that as well. So now let's go downstairs. I'm going to show you where I teach my fitness classes, my online virtual stuff, my little home gym. So let's, so it's all set up for my, uh, virtual classes right now. And I also have an emergency kit down here as well. So I've hurt myself down here before. So here's a little emergency kit. So this is my home studio. So this is Brenna. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. All right. So this is my little home gym. So I have my weight. I have, let me just give you a little bit of a look. I have all my lights where I teach my classes. And then of course I have, this is my Kermit the Frog from when I was about three, four years old. And then I have my stability ball that I use as a chair to build my core strength. And then over here, um, so part of Team Addison's Canada, um, the fundraising that I do for that in Canada, I can ship you free adrenal crisis kits. So this is where I assemble everything. So I have everything set up so it's really easy for me. So even if I'm having a low cortisol day, um, I can kind of come down here and I can do things. So I try to keep my life as simple as possible. And this is one way that I do it. These kits are extremely important. And these are all the things that I can ship out to you. So if you are in Canada and you would like some magnets, some flyers, you know, all you have to do is send me a message. And this is a little bit of my life. And some of the things that I do here to make sure that I'm prepared if I ever have an adrenal crisis. Right, Brenna? We take care of mommy, don't we? All right. Thank you for joining me on the tour of my home and I hope you got some ideas of things that you can do to make sure that you are safe and get fast help in the event of an adrenal crisis. Now, if there's something that you do to keep yourself safe, please make sure you comment below so that we can all learn from each other. Now, I wanted to um, finish this video with um, just a reminder. I wanted to say that if you're having one of those days where you're laying in bed and you're staring at the walls and you can't put two thoughts together or you're leaning on that counter, you're gripping that railing, trying to climb those stairs and you feel your weakest and you feel so isolated and scared. And I want to take this and remind you that on the days when we feel our weakest, when we can't climb those stairs, when we can't put those thoughts together, we are actually our strongest. We are fighting so hard. And what I want you to do is I just want you to take a moment and take a deep breath and keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself how strong you are and that you're gonna get through the day. Um, and then just take a moment and appreciate yourself, appreciate the fight appreciate how strong your body is. And I want you to do something to love yourself today, to make yourself feel better, whatever that is. Don't judge whatever it is, whether it's just sweeping your floor makes you feel better. That's okay. If it's, um, you know, opening up your blinds, go outside, sit for five, 10 minutes, just take in some deep breaths and keep telling yourself that you got this, that you are strong and that you're going to have better days. So thank you so much for letting me share my home with you. And until next time, please be well, my pickles.